Is this like similar or the same thing? What's that? How some of the homosexuals, how they claim that they're born this way? Is this like the same thing? I mean, they're accusing Allah of their evil, without a doubt. They're accusing Allah upon this evil. They're accusing Allah of their evil. And, you know, unfortunately, people be, 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 you know, being effeminate, right? Being effeminate and being a homosexual, that's two different things. A person can be effeminate. I mean, he can have, you know, saying, like, actions of a woman. But he is, he is, you know, that doesn't have nothing to do with him being, you know what I'm saying? That's why sometimes, even how, how, you know, at the a young age, our boys more so. We got to look into certain ways. How they walk. Certain body, body gesture. Right? Yeah. Should not do it. And alhamdulillah, we remember when we were young. That if we have our hands like this, our parents will tell, don't do this. Because this is like, you know, it's like how a woman will, you know, or like standing on one. You just do it, man. Right? Standing like this. Like this. They, they say, don't stand like this. This is how a woman will stand. And exactly, you, you realize that this is some of the action of the woman. Or when a man will be using as his hands like in a certain way, like, you know, like this. They tell you, you know, stand up properly. Talk properly. Walk like a man. You see what I'm saying? Walk like a man. So all of this, Barakallah, not for you to, 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 to look effeminated. But Allah Kulin, this is sidetracking us. So we, we, Alhamdulillah, this is important that we, sometimes we... Our boys, we, we, we kind of, not rough them up, but give them like a manly stand. Right? Give them like a manly stand. Uh, speak, you know, be brave on when you talk. You know, give, give a good hand grip when you shake people's hand. Don't have this softness like, you know what I'm saying, this in, in, in you like this. You know, yo, shh. And alhamdulillah, even baraka the kuffar. This is something that they will teach you in certain, uh, in certain, in certain, I would say, Going for an interview, for instance. There are etiquettes that you will have to show your demeanor to the, to the individual that want to hire you. If the person you give him a handshake, a good handshake, and that the Sunnah already taught us that. Having a firm handshake, like this. Like this, having a good, but not like, you know what I'm saying, like the tablier handshake, like, you know, but rather have a good grab on when you're shaking somebody's hands. This has a lot to, to, to say about your, about your demeanor. Nah, madam. Say it one more time. I would say yes, if I know. But you, you're telling me? From what you read. Yes. Based on what you read. Okay, the brother, he said, based on what he read. So, alhamdulillah. I, I cannot say yes to something that I don't know. Right? But if, if that's something you read, alhamdulillah. Nah. I'm trying to get to point number two. Very good. The point number two is the statement of who? Ibn Qayyim. ماذا قال Ibn Qayyim رحمه الله? Ibn Qayyim رحمه الله, he said, if the person has repented from the sin, then he can place that under the qadr. If the person has repented upon from that sin, then his action could be he could place it under the under the qadr. And Shaykh Uthaymi rahimahullah he say, but the other one that is not permissible, that is prohibited, it is when the person he blamed the qadr upon being persistent upon the upon the sin. And he said, as the mushrikun are doing, or they they done, and they're still doing. He said, Amma insan, or as in regard to the individual, he using the qadr, لِدَفْعِ اللَّوْمَ عَنْهُ مَعَ أَنَّ اللَّوْمَ قَدْ إِنْ دَفَعَ بِتَوْبَةِ فَهَذَا لَا بَأْسَ بِهِ But as the individual, he wanna use the qadr for not being blamed. For not being blamed because of the tawbah already taken place. He said that is not no problem in it neither. In other words, if he has repented, then he is not to be blamed. And he can use the qadr 
as a result of his ma'asiyah. This is barakallahu feekum, the statement of Ibn al-Qayyim. وَهَذَا جَوَابٌ جَوَابٌ وَاضِحٌ يَتَصَوَّرُهُ الْإِنسَانِ بِقَرِيبٌ وَإِنْ كَانَ كَلَامُ الشَّيْخُ الْإِسْلَامِ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ أَسَدَّ وَأَصْوَبْ لكن لا مانع بأن يجاب بما أجاب به العلامة ابن القيم الله أكبر شيخ عثيمي رحمه الله يسأي that this is a very crystal clear answer he say even though the statement of Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah is more to the point and more correct but there is nothing wrong with the answer that Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Qayyim has given but here what is more correct is what in regard to this hadith is the statement of Ibn Taymiyyah but what Ibn Qayyim said could be also used but be short be short Aishal shart at tawbah Bi shart at tawbah Wa adamu al istimrar Fil ma'asiyah And not being persistent upon the Upon the sin We suffice ourselves with this Asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala To give us Understanding in the religion and implementing it with ikhlas and to convey it and to be patient upon the trials and the tribulation. So bi'ithnillahi ta'ala our next sitting insha'Allah ta'ala we will clarify the issue of the statement of al-imanu bil-qadr khayrihi wa sharrihi. How do we understand that statement? The decree, the good and the bad. Because there is a hadith that say, Asharru laysa ilayka. That the evil is not from you. But now, how do you put these two together? Asharru laysa ilayka. That the evil is not from you. And the statement of the messenger. Al-imanu bil qadari khayrihi wa sharrihi. How do we understand this? Right? Because like this for the person that doesn't have an understanding, he will say what? There is a tanaqud. There is a contradiction in this. Because here he says, And tu'minu bil qadri khayrihi wa sharrihi. In the hadith of the message, say, Asharru laysa ilayka. A person without the correct understanding. Limited understanding, he will say, Well, there is a contradiction in this. But there is no contradiction in this. So this is what we'll be reading, inshallah, next week. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the opportunity to sit together, وصلى الله وسلم على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين استودعكم الله الله يبارك فيك